We tried to think through what a young person who's old enough, right, could, could do using music as a, as a jumping off place. So we were looking at this Beethoven 7th concert and specifically it's organized around a particular idea, which is rhythm. And rhythm's different than a, you know, a beat, which is this steady thing. Rhythm is the stuff that happens on top of the beat, in between the beats. <laughs> There was this conversation that came up about the way the brain works and how you could sort of tie this to certain things and it turns out we're rhythmic beings. When we think, our brain emits waves in rhythm and those waves are at different tempos, speeds. And then the cells themselves fire in different rhythms and they fire at different speeds and sometimes they organize themselves around one another where there are little societies of cells firing together. So you can get where I'm going here. There are bigger ideas that come into play and it turns out we're the only mammal that can, if I did this and said to you, tap with me, that can only be done by a human being. That can only be done where we synchronize together by a human being. And so even a baby, a child can, can find the pulse and synchronize with pulse. Why? Because our brains do that. This is what we do. So I thought, well, this really becomes this moment when we can explore Beethoven and we can explore ourselves. And we thought with this program, if we could let them see via Beethoven, both music and themselves, that they could, in a very real sense, connect the dots. And that when Beethoven would write in specific kinds of rhythms, this, this symphony becomes easier for a young person, I think, to, to grasp early on. To be able to know the difference between beat and rhythm and listen to all the different rhythms that there are, and it's just good to be able to know those and be able to play those in orchestra. There's definitely things that I can connect to what I do, and then things that will be really fun to learn in the future. I really know that now the difference between beat and rhythm, and that's going to help me a lot, and now I know where I can memorize stuff and, um, in my brain, and I will be able to memorize my music better. One of the things then that, that uh, I wanted to do was not say anything in this concert that wasn't scientifically proven and that didn't have um, good research behind it. So I'm not looking for fluffy things, you know, I'm actually looking for, this is the real deal, and this is the value of it. And it, it could be that someone either watching this program or, or someone who attends the concert, when they think about choices they might make in terms of budgets and other things, would perhaps take the knife more sparingly to the arts when you begin to realize that actually this is really, really engaging the brain and that the brain is, that's the tool they've got. That's what you're educating. You're educating that brain and this is engaging that brain.